woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I rush out, bitch, now I'm focused on your fine. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. Stop my shine. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Okay. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? The Real 10K squad back again with another thoughts and opinions video. It's your boy Travis checking in. And it is your girl Kiana, aka Queen Key. Off in this thing. Alright, y'all, we're gonna talk about this thing, right? So, as y'all know, you know, Chris and Queen. Got their little situation going on. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm sure everybody already know, you know how that happened or whatever. And all of a sudden, Captain Saberhole want to jump in. And he want to uh, jump in and help protect Queen's honor on, on the internet. And so, which I feel like it had nothing to do with him. Mm -mm. Like, this is my thing. Now, and, 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 now, and people kill me with this. He had a right to step up for his girl. And it, let me tell you something. When you have a mother and a father having a situation about their kids, as long as he's not disrespecting her, then stay in your place. And as long as he's, as long as the father is in the child's life, then you don't have nothing to talk about. And that's what I'm saying. And, and but I'm saying, and, and as long as he ain't coming off, because at the end of the day, that is your woman. So and you are supposed to protect your woman. But there's still there's communication, and there's even like you know there's situations that they're going to get into an argument, or they're going to get there's a child involved, there's emotion involved. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As long as he don't disrespect her in no kind of way, verbally, physically, nothing. Mind your business. Let them handle that. Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Just mind your business. My bad. But I really found messed up the tweet that he posted mm. about Chris. Yeah. So I screenshotted it because I was like, we're not going to remember this shit. Hell no. So. He did two tweets. Yeah. So one of the tweets that he posted, it said the term good father is used too loosely in my opinion. He had a second tweet that says expectations are set so low for fathers that in society it's good to do the very minimum. Well, he must have been talking about himself in that thing. I'm about to say, this coming from a nigga who's an internet dad. Finally. Say it louder for like, the ones like, in the back. Like, let me, let me like, I'm going to tell you what was the best thing could have happened to him was Queen having that baby. You know why? Because they gave him an opportunity to do videos without her. Because they can do videos with the baby. Like, bro, you, every time you look up, you got that baby, a camera in that baby face, and you trying to, oh, yeah, legend. I love you so much, legend. It's like, that shit is for show, bro. Because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for show, why is it that Queen... Is trying to have a career for y'all, but she don't know. I, I seen a video myself. I had to because people kept saying about it. This girl here did a show in Orlando, Florida, or something like that. Mm -hmm. She went on a show. This nigga was sitting there at home, kicking it, playing 2K. She went on a flight. Her, Lee, the two security, and the baby. Bro, why the fuck you can't keep your own baby? Because he needed time for his side piece. Oh, okay. That's what that's what that was? Gotcha. I'm just saying, how can you discredit somebody for being a father when you barely won? Like, nigga, every time you look, the queen be dead ass sick and be taking care of the child. She was in the studio and the baby was in there. the studio. She got the baby. It's like, come on, bro. Like, like, stop doing that whole shit, bro. Like, Kanye's be doing so much whole shit, and, and like I said, I'm not gonna say that's a, that, I'm not gonna say that's a New York thing. I know some, 
I know some real ass New York niggas. You know what I'm saying? He just not one of them. I I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Like, first of all, you should never be trying to discredit no another man for what he do as a father if you know that he's doing what he's supposed to do. Then to say you can do the bare minimum. That was crazy. And and, and he said that like like Chris don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like he ain't in this boy life or nothing. Now I don't know I don't know what y'all gonna say. Some of y'all gonna and you know and and yeah, because every time you say something about Chris, you got the women that just don't like him or find something to agree with. To but there's nothing you can agree with in that situation. Regardless of what y'all He was out of pocket. He was out totally out of pocket. Like, there's no way and you're gonna find some of these little kids and these little females and, and she's supposed to step up and and and, and, and defend his girl not. Come on, man. At a certain times, you got to let people fight their own battles at, at certain times. Like I said, as long as there's no disrespect there, you got to let them have it. You got to let them two go at it. And, and, and that's coming from a, that's coming from a situation I can, I can speak on. You know what I'm saying? That I know I can speak on. Because in the past, y'all done had y'all little arguments and disagreements and conversations and you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And as long as it don't get out of hand, y'all do that. Because like I said, tempers are going to flare. When you're dealing with co-parenting and mothers and fathers, and you're going you're gonna to have tempers flaring and people arguing. and you're gonna have, That's just what it is. So as as the man in the situation, as long as that junk don't get too far to hand and he don't get to disrespect her, calling her bitches out her name, and you know what I'm saying? And Alec, you want to put his hands on her if y'all in person, you got to let them do that. You got to let them do that. That's not your place. That's not your job. But notice the only time Clarence take take charge with the baby is when he wants to be in the spotlight too. When they traveling. Yeah. Doing some type of awards or yeah. going to some type And he want to be seen with the baby. Yeah. You know, he, that's the only time you see him taking care of that baby. Well, I said niggas are internet dad. Like once the camera's off, once the lights, camera action is off, you're not a father. Like you put your, you got a whole department upstairs, upstairs, and the kids are sleeping on the floor below you. Well, legend is not he's sleeping in the room with y'all. Fuck that! Why don't you be a stepdad, nigga, and put that boy bed together, put CJ bed together? Cause I bet, I, I, I bet his bed will be together if it was at Chris' house. It would be together if it was Legend's bed. It would have been together the same day if it was Legend's bed. Yeah. Matter of fact, Legend got a bed uh, in, in their room already put together. Now, when you talking about some, talking about some yeah, we're going to let CJ uh, just sleep up here on a sofa bed until he's comfortable. But, you know, Legend's going to be up here. And that's what we was talking about when we were saying that it's not equal. The, the attention given is not equal. Like I didn't realize that I I didn't watch the video. I'm going off of what people are saying. People are saying that it's patio doors in CJ's room. Um, he's all the way downstairs by himself. And and, 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 and let me say like, that. I, I want to say that in defense, it's not a basement. It's the first level of the house. It's the first floor. Yeah, you're right. But who puts their child right next to the garage on the first floor by themselves? Yeah. Because you know how they house made it. When you walk in from the garage, you walk in the door. And it's, it's a room right there, right when you walk in the front door. And you got to go upstairs, up the first stairs, to where the living room and the kitchen and all that's it. You know what I'm saying? You know how houses made like that. It'd be like seven stories. It's like that. So is it really a room or is it like some kind of den? Like- no, I think it's like a room. Well, um, I don't know if it's a bedroom, actually. Well, no, it's a room because... It's a, a bedroom can consist of a closet and window. It's a room because there's a bathroom in there too that has a shower and stuff in there too. So it's a room. It could be a guest, like a guest, like a guest room, yeah. Okay. Or like a, like a like a uh, in law suite or something like that, like a guest room or something. It's who like that. Fuck puts a child that young down there by themselves. Who puts a child? Period. Like you said, at that age, like separate them like that. Like you can't get to them if you need to. No, no, forget all that. He can get into all kind of shit before you can get to him. You know what I'm saying? That was that was Clarence doing right there. He he wanted that house 
And when they went to look at the layout of the house, he wanted that house. So he sacrificed CJ a room where everybody else is at. Okay, okay. So if that's the case, then why you ain't put him on the on the floor above y'all? Then? Because he wanted that for himself. Put him on that floor. Put him in the room where all your goddamn tennis shoes at. He wanted that for himself. When you put all your goddamn tennis shoes downstairs in the goddamn box. That's what I would have thought to do. <laughs> but I'd say he ain't had a whole floor down there. He just had a room. Mm. He wanted the whole apartment. So he moved from the basement to the attic. I'm just mm-hmm. saying, but like, how you gonna question another man's parenting when you barely one yourself? And the bad part, I'm going to tell you what I hate about niggas like that, though. Like, it's one thing to not be a parent, to, to be like a, a not so good of a father, and the kid is not, and you're not around the kids all the time, right? It's another thing to be a not shit of a dad, and you in the child presence every day. Like, that's worse when you when you ain't shit of a daddy, and you around your kids every day. Mm-hmm. That's no excuse. You have no excuse. You got all the practice in the world to be the greatest dad in America. And people are saying you get the the best dad award and all this shit. People been saying that. And these people just be gassing these folks up, be hyping these YouTube man, they be hyping Queen and Clarence up. I don't get it because at first, you know what? That y'all went from y'all didn't like Clarence to now y'all be kissing Clarence ass. I guess just just to just to make Queen happy. I don't get it, bro. That's some, that's some whole shit to me. That shit was some whole shit. It was some whole shit. I'll tell it to your face. That was some whole shit. Mm. Yeah, that was a little video we speaking on that. We ain't gonna stay on that too long. Um, we just came before y'all to say that because we just felt like it was a need to address it. You know, it's, it's our thoughts and opinions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. So make sure y'all like, share, just like, um, uh, comment, and um. Send send hate comments. Say fuck you. I can't stand you. All that good stuff. Whatever it is that y'all want to do, we told y'all we cool with it. Um. But we're gonna catch y'all on the next video. Peace. For your mother. Don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it.